speed, but we, we wanted to be as close to true RNG as possible. Sorry. I keep getting, uh, I'm looking at like 50 different things on my screen, so. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, this one's a question I haven't really heard before, but uh, would it be possible to add a gender change into the customization function in the shop? The one that you pay for. Pretty sure you can change your gender with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. <laughs> I'm almost positive you can, yeah. Somebody's questions, okay. Um, will there ever be a healer class in game? If you mean by class, I guess I don't really know what you mean by class. Well, there's uh, there's, there's a lot there's of like a lot of... Uh, uh, like a, basically a specific person that all they do is heal. I think people can make their own healer class. That's kind of the way we built the game. Is you can sort of build your character the way you want. If you want to be a healer and use a staff or use unity or something like that, great. But yeah, we don't we don't want to specify like your like a, an actual class or anything. I guess. Only two more questions on my list, and then we'll go to the Twitch chat for questions. Um, any thoughts on how uh, Raid 3 made Raid 2 almost obsolete when it was released? Uh, I mean, the game is built to be... You progress through the game. So we don't want it to make... We don't want to force people to get all of the legendaries in Raid 2 before they can get to the next zone. The, the game should feel like a smoother progression than that. You shouldn't be forced to max out every every possible slot before you move forward. So it's yeah, it's intentional. We don't. I mean, the only downside is that people feel like it's a waste of time to do raid two, which we can always still tweak. But we don't want people to feel like they have to be maxing out the raid two items to progress. Like that shouldn't be a requirement. So that's I guess that's my mindset on it. Uh, our last question is, any thoughts on having a core team of volunteer playtesters and using their feedback? Uh, this is actually something we already do. We have players internally, like actual like people in the game that uh, we talk to internally, and they, are, they have access to our test server, and they can see all the updates and things that are coming, give feedback and, and whatnot. So this is already a thing. It's just not public knowledge. So yeah, that's something that we do already, and uh, yeah. All right, uh, I guess we can start just taking random questions as we see them in Twitch chat. Uh, otherwise, that's our list for today for our Q and A. Yep, let's uh, start shooting the questions over in chat, and we'll try to pick someone to answer them. Do you plan on doing some sort of purge with inactive guilds or usernames? Yeah, I think so. It's that's not as easy as it sounds. But yeah, I think I think at some point we should kind of purge the accounts that are super super inactive and that are like less than level five or something. Uh, the question about fishing is uh, we're working on it, but we don't know when we're gonna make it good. So that's the I see a lot of fishing questions. So we just want to make sure it's really good and it's enjoyable. Favorite ice cream flavor. I like, coffee. I like coffee. Yeah, I, like, I think I like coffee too. Co cookies and cream is also good, but coffee is amazing. Yeah, I like coffee. Let's see. Oh, you make customization oh. costs less than a thousand gems. It's super expensive. Well, we don't want people to be constantly switching their appearance all the time. We want you to feel like you picked it and you're you're going to stick with it. That's the reason why it's that expensive. So, I mean, we could lower it, but it's not. I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence on that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. What, back to the coffee, because that's what you guys are talking about in Twitch chat. I just, I love coffee ice cream. I don't know. I, coffee ice cream is delicious. It's the best. Are there any, yeah, are there any plans to increase the balloon PvP reward? At some point, yeah. Once, once we're getting closer 
to new content coming out, we'll probably start bumping it up. But this is the same way we did Raid 2. When, if, if you were around when Raid 2 came out, you didn't even get hyper shards from the events at all. You eventually got them over a period of time when um, people had people had a lot of time to already mess with Raid 2. So uh, we'll probably ramp it up, but I don't know when. Hmm. Are you thinking about adding items or pets to support full agility builds? I mean, I think the damage ones already do support full agility builds. Full agility is still... I guess I, guess I haven't dug into it entirely, but it's still viable. It's just people don't like doing it. It's, it's just as viable as like split damage or high high power, I think. You just don't get the the same bonus as you would as from a power user from getting hit. But you are hitting a lot more frequently and you're not overkilling with your, your values. Uh, I've seen it a few times, but the... Uh, so, world boss. Uh, technically, that's kind of where the idea for invasions came from. Yep. So we, we've, we've been wanting to do like a world raid for a long time and we couldn't really find a good way to make it work. So Invasions is basically our world raid. This is the way for people to communicate and work together to uh, work towards a goal. Now it's not perfect by any means, but it it was our, our way of kind of handling world raids. And we might do another cool one uh, in the future that's similar to the zombie one that is more like world raidy, but that's kind of like our, like I said, our solution to the whole world raid idea. Uh, it says, are there Easter eggs in the game? I personally think so. There's a lot of Easter eggs, I think, but they're more like, they're more like, I don't know, internal jokes or references to things. Like, uh, Shrump has a, a reference to Donald Trump, and uh, Professor Oak is obviously a, a mock to another game. Um, I know there's more. I remember you. There's a lot of there's a lot of really stupid ones that I've added because uh, I tend to do a lot of the naming for familiars, and so when I have the chance, I try to sneak in some really random, obscure references to things that I like, whether it be from a book or a TV show I like at the time, or uh, there's um. There's a few Harry Potter references. There's a reference to uh, Penny Dreadful. Um, trying to think of what else. I think my favorite, my personal favorite, is uh, one of the new familiars in Zone 5. The name is Brute. And his description says, I am Brute, which is a pretty obvious reference. And yes, Mr. Wasson is, is one. Um, he's a, a uh, personal friend and helper. Um, <laughs> naming familiars wasn't on the list of things Leisha does. Yeah, the list is crazy, and I can't. I don't even want to go over it anymore. Like it's just dumb. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other. Well, I mean, there's pets, obviously. Uh, Tina is based off of uh, my corgi Athena, uh, and then of course Trike is off of Sean's Trike. Uh, uh, there's a few, well, and then, uh, one of the NPC characters is a reference to a character from a popular TV show and things like that. So there's all sorts of little Easter eggs if you know what you're looking for or you're, uh, into the same stuff we're into. <laughs> uh, as for the invasion loot drops we actually talked about this a lot internally when we were releasing it whether or not we should give out uh coins just like we do in gvg and pvp but uh we decided not to we actually talked to a lot of people about this not just us but other players and they kind of we all kind of like came to an agreement that it, it probably shouldn't be but um i do understand that it's it's lame to do a bunch of invasions and not get any any items at all so um I think we could probably add something. I don't really know what, but we probably could add some more loot to it. And the reason we made Invasion two weeks instead of one is that we wanted to give the community enough time to 
to reach the maximum goal. Plus, it's a pretty exclusive event. These invasions are not going to happen very often. There's unique rewards during it that we want people to have time to obtain. So that's why we made it two weeks, so that you definitely, if you wanted to, you have the time to really get everything in it. So the playtest server thing is kind of something we already went over. We do have uh, a select group of people that help us with playtesting, um, but it's just not something that we are making public. And um, uh, it's they, they help a lot in our decisions on how difficult we make things, what our drop rates are like, and, and basically the future features and uh, if they're worthwhile for putting in the game and stuff like that. Uh, I think I already answered the question on the interaction of bonuses. Basically everything except for the dungeon bonuses is additive and then the dungeon one multiplies it. Um, and then... Um, there's a lot of questions popping up here. We've actually talked about doing the set version of pets and accessories, but I don't want people to feel like they have to have that. Like, that was one of the problems we had with Seth initially is that you were basically required to wear three items or two items and nothing else. There was no other option for the slots. Whereas right now, pets and accessories are very interchangeable to a degree. There's a, there's a bunch of options that people can pick from, which is really cool. But if we introduce set bonuses to them, then we kind of lock them in place and make a, another meta, which we want to avoid. Plus, it also makes it more pay to win, which I'm of against so i don't want to really do want to do that uh will there ever be a way of exchanging epic maps to hyper shards or doubloons i'm gonna say probably not but i'm not totally against the whole concept of exchanging and the, the hyper shards right now just because the, uh they're not like the end game content anymore but right now there isn't any plans for it 